Peter Hitchens, those who feel disillusioned with the current political system, obviously. Are right to do so. Uh, they have been systematically betrayed, and I see no end to it. Uh, the, there are so many issues uh, which have been visited on this country by an elite of self-selecting, closed-minded people, as well represented here this evening, and actually largely incompetent as well, uh, which have done enormous damage to our way of life. So, for instance, who now has anything to say about the deindustrialization of this country and the destruction of manufacturing jobs under the Thatcher government? Uh, who can reverse it? Who can do anything about it? Who will say anything uh, on this panel about the catastrophe of, of mass immigration which has changed this country irrevocably into somewhere completely different oh, from what it was? They won't talk about it. They won't talk seriously about the immense problems of crime and disorder which affect millions of people in their homes and leave them utterly vulnerable to all kinds of unpleasantness and, 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 and violence and menace which they never used to have time ago. And, uh, and, and there is no sense whatsoever that there will be any reform of the criminal justice system or any attempt to put it right again. These are just some of the subjects but why do which, you, why which do this elite, on which this elite just constantly, constantly refuse to discuss. Why? 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 Because they themselves have an ideology. They themselves have, have, a, have the ideology of, of, of metropolitan bourgeois bohemians. They despise most people outside. What are you, man of the people? They despise... They despise them. Well, I mean, you're no, the only person no, on, this, no, on this panel I'm, I'm, who's... I'm no more a man of the people, people than you are, Mr. I don't, I don't claim to be, but you are, you're, you're making Jones, a picture on I'm, I'm, so, I'm, I'm simply saying these are the things which they will not do anything about, which they will not do, because they themselves benefit. They themselves benefit from many of the things which, which, which do immense damage. They've benefited from globalization. They've benefited from mass immigration. We'll talk about mass immigration. And Let's talk about immigrants they're, they're coming not, over here, not, propping up not, our NHS, treating us when we're They're not affected. They're not affected. Their, ch their, children, their children don't go to bog standard comprehensives. Then they're, they're not affected. You know they're, they're not affected by. Me. They're not affected. They're not affected by crime. Yes, I do know how to because I know what they do all the time. They will not discuss these things. They will not do anything about them. They ignore what you say, and you think that at general election time you can do something about it. No, the people who stand before you uh, at general election time for, for, the, for the political parties are people who've been pre-selected. You have no control. If I stood for Parliament, or if he stood for Parliament, from, from, our, from our positions, which are quite popular, the fact is the party machines will erase us. The immense amounts of money they're capable of spending, the enormous access they have to the broadcasting organisations, which we don't have most of the time, would make it impossible. Make it impossible. You've got more access than I have, Peter. Would make it impossible on the country. Would make it impossible for anyone outside of the Peter, sorry. The question was, what would you say to people who feel like you clearly do about the current political association? Just said it. Well, no, wait a moment, wait a moment. What would you say to them about how to change things? I are, you no, stand, no, no, are you, no, 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 you going to stand as an MP? No, I'm sorry. This, are, you, are you going to stand as an MP? No, because uh, for the reasons I've just explained, I wouldn't, right. I wouldn't have the faintest chance. Right. No, my, my advice to anybody young enough to do so is to emigrate before it's too late. Oh, for goodness oh, sake. Oh, I mean, this is just... The paper that is written, you heard it here. This is a ridiculous council of despair. I think our country's best days are ahead of us, not behind us. And I think Peter Hitchens needs to get with the programme. I got involved in politics, actually, through my mum, who was a member of the CND and used to take me on CND marches. And I thought this is interesting, exciting. It was the 1980s. There was a big debate about ideas. And I think that... You know, if you want to be involved in politics, you can be involved in politics. And I want more people to be involved in politics. I think we should make Parliament more open, uh, more easier to access, uh, more, more friendly to people from different backgrounds. I think it is becoming quite an elite of a particular type of professional. I think that's a problem. Yeah. I think we, th we need to think about the way it operates, the terms and conditions, all those kind of things. I'm excited by the primaries that we've done in the Conservative Party to get a wider group of people involved in politics. Given we need up, to revive yeah. local... Up, no, we've got some new ones up. coming up, oh, actually, you? David. Right. Maybe question time might be involved. No, but no, what, what we need to do is we need to open up politics. We need to make local government count right. through localism so that people are involved. But this idea that everything is always awful, that's one of the reasons why people turn off politics, because they just hear this constant right. moaning. The Daily Mail, the Daily Mail might call
call you the man who hates Britain. That's what you just said. Exactly. Any, 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 the Ed Miliband of our day. You're free to call me. I mean, that. The, it's, it's, it's not the Ed, the Rafe Miliband. It's not Britain I hate. Britain I love. Every field and hedgerow. It's the, it's the people who run it. Or the people who live and, here. And, 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 and who are wrecking it. And, All right. and, and uh, so, uh, like anybody who cares about his country, I'm, I'm Let, distressed by it. I, I see no hope from these interchangeable people. She was right. a Liberal Democrat. For all I know, she still is. Let's hear from her. Right. Let's hear from her. I mean, just, just before I answer the question, we've just got to get away from this nonsense that is peddled by Peter and people like him, that immigration is some kind of curse in this country. It is a blessing. It is made... <laughs> And, 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 